Hey, I'm Jimmy Redman, co-founder of Liquid Force, and I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorite shapes. It's a timeless shape, been in the line for over 20 years, the trip. Now the trip, you know, now is this compression molded perfect board, but like all of our shapes, they started off being handmade, hand shaped, and the trip was really taking the whole concept of what a twin tip could be and pushing the limits of width and in doing so it radically changed the fin setup and what's become commonplace on boards today. You'll notice this is the first prototype. It wasn't, we didn't have the name trip yet. Test pilot on this first board was Gator, so it was called G1. And there's a whole series of G2, 3, 4, 5. But the idea was you make the board wider. At the time, all twin tip boards just had a center fin. So because of that, it couldn't handle width like this. And most boards were at least an inch, if not even more, narrower than an inch at the tips than this prototype. So once I pushed it out an inch to an inch and a half, inch and, inch and three quarters more than the current boards, I knew it needed fins out on the rail. So the idea was once you get the fins out on the rail, they can get a lot smaller. So it's a completely different kind of fin, something very shallow, canted, and with a, a long base, but low depth. So it's low drag, but maximum grip. Now at the time, we didn't know how to mold in fins. So the first trip, we actually had to take a step backwards and bolt the fins on. You'll see the fit, you know, the holes for where the fins were bolted on. Fortunately, when we we're, when were getting ready to release this board, I connected with an amazing artist. His name's Drew Brophy. And he was the guy that created that signature look for what became Lost Surfboards. And I told Drew the idea, the concept behind the board, and the name Trip. And so Greg Nacrassen debuted this board at the X Games, I think it was like 98 in San Diego. So home turf, brand new board, revolutionary new shape, snuck it out on the dock, pulled it out of the board bag, and just freaked everybody out. And from that point forward, every board got wider in the tips, the fins got smaller, fins got out on the rail. Well, since the first debut of the trip, it's gone through multiple iterations, you know, to update it, to work with new boats, steeper wakes, bigger wakes. And each time the board, you know, rocker's gotten a little, little bore, still keeping the same concept of a continuous rocker, and the board's gotten a little wider. So the fins get better. Finally, you know, we're able to mold in beautiful fins. And what's really cool about how the fins are on the, the latest iteration of the trip is you have what's flowing through the middle, I call it a disc hull. That's a double inside single concave. And that flows into a deep pronounced double concave channel out the end. And the, the concave warps right up into the inside face of these two fins. So it makes the fin really efficient. It gives it really good flow. So it's minimal drag with maximum hold. The trips now are available in four sizes, a 30, a 135, a 139, and a 144. You can find your trip at Wakemakers.